Hi guys, this is Utsav. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will see how to create a simple mapping where we would load employee information to a target. The requirement is that for each department we need to find the employee details which has the maximum salary. So this is a sample HR schema and if I run this query and I order by department ID, you can see uh, these departments. So the requirement is that, uh, for example, department 30, we need only one employee detail and then the employee should be the one which has the maximum salary. So first we will see how can we build a query like that in Oracle. And then we can see, we will see that how can we create it via informatic. So for example, this is our table. So if you are using Oracle or any other relational, uh, relational DBMS, then we can use a Windows function. So we can say select, uh, let's say, uh, row number over partition by um, department ID, order by salary descending as rank and other details. So if we'll put this as the last. And now if we run this query, you'll see for each, uh, okay. okay, missing comma here. Okay, the extra comma here. Okay, so now you see for each de uh, department, so for, like so for department 30, we got a rank. So, uh, row number uh, like in case the rank is same row number is will return you a random value so it, it we can use this for rank as well so we need these uh, employee details only the one i have highlighted this one this one and for 10 only one right so wherever the rank is one we need that in output so now if we run a query on top of this so that star from this table and then Uh, where rnk equals to 1. So this will give me the desired output. For each department, if you see, we have only one employee detail. Okay, so there's one employee where the department ID is null. Still, we got this one detail. That's fine. So now we'll see how can we do it in Informatica. So one easiest way would be to use the same override query in Informatica. Right? But if you want to use Informatica tools, functions to use that, so we'll see how to do that. So I've already created a source for employees. Uh, I will create a target. So before that, I will uh, uh, create a temporary table to store this data. So we need only this few column. So I will create a dummy table without any data. So this is created. Now, we will go to target and we will import this table. So you got this table in target. Now we will create a mapping. So we will create the name of mapping as EMP max cell by Just name for mapping. Now we'll drag our source. We'll drag our target. We will link all this. But well, before that, we need a expression. So we will create an expression. Okay, we don't need all the columns, so we will uh, we'll take on the column which we need. So we'll again create an expression. So we need only uh, employee ID, first name, last name, salary, and department ID. So we take these columns. We'll rename this expression. So we'll know that what this expression is doing. So this is a staging expression. Now, how do we get the one uh, the max the employee with the maximum salary for each department? So 
for that we will first we will need to aggregate this data but if you aggregate then for each aggregated uh, each group only one row is passed in output so to do that we have to make sure that when we are sending data to aggregator then the employee whose salary is maximum is going at the last row so for that we can use a sorter for that right so we'll use a sorter uh, okay we will say it's sorter by Salary. Okay, so we will sort data based on department ID and salary, but we need to sort it in ascending order. So the highest salary will go at last. So we have done this now. So after this, we would need an aggregator. So we will take this aggregator. And in aggregator, we will say we have to aggregate by by department. Whenever you are creating a new uh, transformation, please give it an appropriate name. So when you revisit it, it's very clear what you did for that. So here we are aggregating by department ID. So we have done that. Apply. Okay. Now we'll connect this data to target. Oh, I'm sorry. This was a sorter. This select all and connect it to target. And we will arrange all. Now, if you see, we have this mapping ready and everything is connected to target. Now, we will save this. It's a valid mapping. We can generate workflow from here itself. So, we can generate workflow. This is your data, no connection object. Okay, uh, we would need to create a connection in uh, Workflow manager. This is the first time I'm running any session there. So that's the reason connection is not created. So that is fine. We can create that. So we can create an Oracle connection. Okay. okay let's, uh, let's forget about it. We'll directly go to workflow manager and create a connection. And then we will uh, create a workflow for this. So this is our target. We are connecting to it. So once the folder is open, so we will go to workflow designer and then we can go to connection. So we can go to relational. We need to create an Oracle connection. So we'll go to a new then so this connection name is actually HR. So that's the name of the schema which we are using. So connection is created. Close this. Now we will again try to create that okay let like we can directly create from here right the workflow create workflow name is wf underscore p by max cell okay, so this is the name of a workflow Okay, we'll create a task.
Okay, so we have created this mapping. We will link it. Tool is on the other side. How is that? How can I get that? Now, here we can see uh, our properties. So, if you see, the source and target are already there. Employee table this is the data for employee. This is your uh, target. So we need to truncate target table each time we are loading it. Let's put load type as normal. Put insert, upgrade. Okay, uh, rest all seems fine. So we'll save this and let's run this. Workflow is running. We'll change the task view. Okay, looks like the connection which you created was not correct. So let's see. Unable to truncate. truncate connection object from target. Okay, it's failed to connect to this database. Let's see. Connection relational. Let's see how it failed. So this is a completely new app environment which I said just today. So there might be something that I'm missing. Okay, so not succeeded. So if you see in target, uh, only 20 rows are applied. So for each department, there's only one row. So we can query the target as well to verify this. So so if you see, okay, so for each department, we have only one row. And that employee has a maximum salary. So for department 30, that was uh, 11,000. So we can verify. Yeah. So this is how we'll create a simple mapping to load this information to target. Please make sure whenever you are renaming a transformation, just give it a proper name. Otherwise, it, don't keep it like exp trans one or sort trans one. It will confuse you later whenever you want to revisit the mapping. And also, make sure the name of the mapping and the session is meaningful. Yeah. So, thank you all for uh, tuning in until this time. And uh, if you want me to cover a particular scenario, do let me know in my channel. Just comment below and uh, please subscribe this channel and share this video. Thank you.